there and his eyes were moving. And then Tony's like, Baby, baby. Fly pelican. Fly pelican. Yeah, he wasn't even a pelican, it was a pelican. Go, 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 go. First time TV. And we're like eating a little keto. We don't even know who keto is anymore. <laughs> Not today. Don't talk, don't talk to me about keto. Right? I know. Don't talk to me about keto. All those napkins. Oh my God. Gracias. Oh, oh my God. Hi, handsome. Hello. So this is room with 201. This is 201. As soon as you walk in the front door, right here. Trash can, cleaners, sink, dishes, uh, one burner stove top of the coffee maker, and a little mini fridge. I wish it was the bigger one though. <coughs> this is a futon. It's not a bed, but it's not as uncomfortable as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it, it is like a little mattress though. Mm. Honey, it's like five inches thick, six inches thick. Yeah. Kind of a cot looking thing. Cabinet closet and then bathroom. In here. Water heater just above our heads. When I was tripping out, I was like, where's the, the faucets? Shower head there, but on the other side of the curtain is where the faucet is. Hot is the bottom, cold is the top. They have uh, shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner, but it's uh attached to the wall and they refilled it for you. This is the flooring of it. If you're looking for luxury, this is not it, but it's okay. It's just an easy studio apartment. But for $33 a night, I think it's okay. And I think we can actually even do the bed for the next two weeks. Air conditioning is a big thing. The air conditioning, oh my God, cause it's humid here. And it's supposed to be the cooler months now, right? Mm -hmm. Here in Mexico. It's about in the eighties uh, this whole week. But that's a big thing that it's got that. And then there is a portable fan there. So, so we have a view of the church down on that side. It's a restaurant right in this section right there. And look how pretty that is. It's beautiful. Not the side. You just don't see the beach, of course, on the side. But we have traffic down here, and it is loud. On the street, last night even was loud. Let's go see where the Riveras are. This is the courtyard. Lock everything. Lock it up, baby. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Come in, she says. They were next door to each other. How cool is that? Oh, honey, she called you. You didn't answer. I don't answer nobody. <laughs> He's on vacation. Hello, this is Luke. I'm on vacation. <laughs> so Look at please, this. Don't even leave a message. So please don't leave a message. <laughs> That step again. Oh. I, I forgot again. I, again. <gasps> the beach is right there. Oh, it must have got caught in the door. His tail's all trickle. 
Ini suite. You might be able to see it in the front. I'm not recording. Oh no, wait a minute. This is. <laughs> yes, it is. Let's, First thing is Mexico. There's Tony. <laughs> The place we went to was beautiful. Uh, we got there, we checked in. There was a lady that was standing, uh, just gathering some information from uh, the people that were there to visit. And she started to ask us for like our passport, a credit card, um, as well as like the address to our Airbnb, which we felt super uncomfortable about and did not want to give that to her at all. Um, and she kept pushing and was pretty rude about it. So we were like, we gotta go. As beautiful as it was, and we wanted to stay and see and check out the presentation, but it was just awful. at the beach over at the Malecon there were a lot of people doing like performances and we caught these guys that were doing some break dance and they're pretty good we had seen them earlier but the radio wasn't working very well I want you to keep an eye on this little guy right here <laughs> he was so excited to be there and watch these guys dance he decided to join in Chill on the beach today. <laughs> on the sand. Yeah, on 
la vamos a hacer famosa. Ándale. Sí. Bien famosa. La, peina, la peinadora de Vallarta. La peinadora. Sienta con confianza de cortar lo que necesita. You're, you're feisty today. He's, he's coming with the concert. Está arriba. Look at this guy. He buys pants, you can take the legs off. Look at that. Oh, Daddy, you're more white than Lisa. That's why I said, close your eyes because you're The Riveras are doing. Hello. Hello. What are you guys doing? Oh, that's cute. Tony's putting his belt on. All right, we will grab him. Oh my gosh. There's like so much in here to see. There is another another area, another building that's there is more entrance. Yes, there's room. more. Uh-huh. What is gotten into you? Oh my god. The water. The water. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Hi. Right? There's more down here. Look at that all that source. You see that? 
see the stores? All the little bricks there? I think he called the owl. Look, he's oh, calling the owl. Oh no, that's a hawk. Look, look, look. That's an owl. Or that's a hawk. That's oh, an owl. No, that's an owl. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a hawk. No, you're right. That's an owl. Wow. So you didn't get to do this at all last time? No, we didn't even see none of these stores on this side. Oh, we stood on that side. Oh, so you didn't know there was it came from No, no. It's crazy. Yeah, so. This place was amazing, so eclectic, uh, very artsy. There were the two floors uh, with some balcony areas. Um, this place also had a dance floor uh, on the first floor you'll see here. People just having a great time, it was, was awesome. And um, you know, there's like writings on the walls, uh, people's drawings, there's old photos on the walls as well, it was beautiful. Like the music, the food was amazing. I can't remember what we got, but it was so good. Good morning, Zayarda. Having our beach day, I can tell you got some color. We're looking at some houses today, probably five, I think he said. And it's the outside, nice black gate. Upon walking in, uh, we're on the main floor where the kitchen is. Oh, uh, that right there is Benjamin. He's our friend. He's a realtor that's showing us around. So uh, the kitchen is, I mean, it's not super, super huge, but it's a nice size. Uh, definitely big enough to cook, a, you know, some meals there. This is the pantry area and then like a cleaning area or something. So this house has three floors and like I was saying, this is the main floor and this would be like the living room area uh, with a half a bathroom right under the stairs. There's a downstairs and then uh, on this same main floor is a bedroom with its closet and a bathroom and it has its own balcony. I mean, it's just your necessities. The balcony is a nice size to, I mean, you can put a chair out there, a little chair and a, maybe a little table, like a bistro set or something. So I make my way back inside. Um, I love that big old mirror. And um, I didn't know whether to go upstairs or go downstairs. So Benjamin came and uh, wanted us to go downstairs so he can save the best for last, I guess. So we all go downstairs and one of the things that was a little scary is that there's no rails on these steps. So here is the bottom floor bedroom with the closet underneath the steps. It's an okay size closet. It only has one rod for hanging clothes, but um, still. The bathrooms, and they all have this like shower door to get inside the bathroom, which I don't like very, very much. Um, 
there's a little bit of storage there by the window and again patio doors and a regular door to get to its balcony so I'm gonna head upstairs <laughs> Tony comes out of the closet and I go uh, with Benjamin to the very top floor to the other room a gecko again no rails on that one so you come up on this terrace and it's big you turn around and there is a room for or the room the other bedroom and uh, you walk in there and it's fairly big has your uh, closet and um, the bathroom and Lisa was telling me that she's noticing in some places that they're covering the drain hole because some water bugs or ro roaches come up through those and I've totally got distracted and didn't show the, the whole bathroom but it looks just like the others and there's a little balcony here to the front of the property down to the driveway area the entrance and a uh, closet some shelves and a rod up there and they each have that then they have a window so you can see who's coming upstairs so i'm gonna make my way out now this i thought was a water feature like a water fountain but it's actually a jacuzzi to sit at and as you can see it needs repairs and this is the back side of the property i love how high the ceilings are there was some beehives up there and wasps nests up there but this is a pretty cool view, not down there, but when you overlook it. This is the third property that we're gonna see. And these are new constructions and you can buy property to build on top of. Look how beautiful that door is. So when you walk in to the right is this laundry room. And I believe it, there's just for the washer, but there's nothing for the dryer. And then across the hall is bedroom number one with the closet. You walk out of it to the left is the full size bathroom. And then you walk into the kitchen and then a the little family room dining area and you go upstairs. I'm sorry, I didn't show better there, but you go upstairs and to the right is a master to the left would be another bathroom or a bedroom. This is a balcony that they built on top of the entrance, I guess, which could be used for bedroom space. I would open up the whole thing and not even have a balcony there. But you go into this bedroom and this is an amazing bathroom. I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't know if it, it's laid out maybe a little bit weird, but um, the whole closet and bathroom is all in one. Has a lot of space there. Lisa liked it. She really liked this bathroom. Has a double sinks. Then we're going to walk across the catwalk here and there's another room. It's a little, little bit smaller with the wall closet and then it's got a full size bathroom. Uh, not a lot of space in there, but at least it's got everything you need for the bathroom. So I'm just going to go downstairs and down there you'll see here in front of me is the living room and a dining area. I was just talking to my brother. We were like, you know, we really would like something with a little bit more property, a little bit more land. Although we don't know Mexico all that well, we still got to see, we did see five houses that day and we got an idea of uh, what there is around that area. But we, you know, there's still time. We're not thinking of buying just yet. Gracias. Gracias. Behind me, there's a green sign. Pancho's tacos. So we're gonna eat dinner tonight. So there's a long line back there, people. The chilies, I don't know what they're called. This is this one's the hottest actually, that one that Lisa's is eating. My husband's telling me not to eat these, so I'm eating that one. You guys like the tacos? No. Right? Good spot, baby. Good do, boss. There's a line still back there. This is the spot. Yep. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Damn. Thank you. Oh, that's a little bottle. How cute. With a little mini conori. Conoronita. That was what? Good prices. Good prices. Yeah. Not bad at all. Five bucks for the first four tacos. I think it's like... Uh, with like 
pesos. Or 95 pesos, yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's so good. It's refreshing. You want to grab that one? These are the <laughs> most flavorful tacos that I've ever had in all of my life. Like, really. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing with these tacos. Here. Sometimes people always, like, have this reference of, like, I don't want tacos. Uh-huh. And, and you think generally, oh, some tacos. Like, this is the part that, that I'm like, oh, shit, this is this what you're talking about. Like, damn. Like, this is what you like, you, this, this is what you're talking about. You're not just the regular basic ones that this is. Yeah. No, no, it's just, it's just traditional. Like, these are addicting. Like, they put drugs in it. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They put that, some that freaking one, crack on me. Break, you know what they use? They cut off the pork chop, but they give you the bone. Do that again, because oh my word. Yeah, that's so good. Is that really a fun dude? Oh my word. Mm -hmm. Ready? Uh, I almost want to stay Go here ahead, all do night. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> Serve them up. Are you going to eat the rest of your meat? I am. <clears throat> Oh my god, look at that. Dang, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna just stay and eat. I know, I can eat for days. <laughs> it's like this is that good. Oh my god, my face is tickled. Pyramids. <laughs> we didn't build the pyramids. No, we didn't. Americans? Americans? In Mexico. There's pyramids in Mexico? Huh? This pyramid made in Mexico. Yeah, there's pyramids in Mexico. Did there? Really? There's pyramids in Mexico. No more, no more, no more drinks for you. <laughs> there's pyramids. There's Anyways, pain. back to the taco. <laughs> no, I'm serious. But back to the taco. They put some in it. They put some in it, and we put the pyramids. One plus one is. It's very good. It's the best taco that you've ever had. Yeah, Probably. I would say they're the best tacos I've had. I had a lot of tacos. Yep. They're the best tacos I've had. Coming from the Mexican. Yep. Best no, tacos you've had? This is, these are like bananas. Like these. these are. Oh my God. No, these, these are very, very good. Like it's such a basic dish, but like I mean, they know what to do. Done right. you know, it's done right. The most amazing tacos ever. Oh, ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> which Manny and I did do the last time that we were here a couple of years ago, but Tony and Lisa never got to do that. Um, we have to get there by boat. And so we came down to La Boca de Tomatlan. This is the little pier. 